group of young college-trained musicians born into the world of digital audio and educated in modern recording studio techniques could travel back in time. What if they could make a record instead of a CD or an MP3? What if they could record their music in the same location and under the same conditions as the first wave of 1950s rock and rollers? Would their skills and artistry prevail during the recording process? Would their songs translate to the medium of vinyl? This is the story of just such a journey down the Mississippi River to Memphis, Tennessee to Sun Studio, the first cathedral of rock and roll. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Black Keys off of their Live at the Metro in Chicago, Illinois album. Do I have a treat for you? Straight from the famous Sun Records studio, we have a production called A Heart and a Home, done by Millican students, written by Brenna Pfeiffer. It's typically, when you when you got to sell a song like this, the, the two things that people want is they want the rhythmic support of the song, right? And they want to hear a good, present, clean, forward vocal because it's a song. It's not a production. I think on that, that bridge right at the end, mm -hmm. uh, before the last uh, chorus, I think we might be able to almost gospel that a little bit. We got enough singers yeah. to do that cool and, and gospel in Memphis. The point is that we want to keep that, that rolling thing going at all times. So that's why maybe on like choruses and stuff, the train groove they call it. After one of the choruses, the two when it's like the double chorus, we stop on the two tabs. Two tabs. Well, since I've written um, a heart and a home, I've seen it take a lot of different forms. Um, so this is a really, really exciting different form. You know, something that I never ever envisioned it being, but something that I think is going to work in its own right. Everyone feeling good? Yeah. So, to me, the to me, I'd rather get the emotion of all y'all singing and grooving than the timing of the break, yeah. right? So that last one we had the timing and everything, but we all were kind of playing scared. Mm -hmm. So let's just let loose on this one and have fun. Yeah. And if we capture that, we'll be groovy, right? Cool. But we need a little more happiness, more smiling, more having fun. And you, if we get that, you'll be all good, I promise. Yeah, baby. <laughs> plating process, all right. So what happens is the lacquer comes into the plating uh, department. So after it's reached that point, then it goes in, it gets, uh, it gets coated with silver. Um, from that point, it gets put into a nickel bath where it's electroplated. This is what a typical stamper looks like. 
This is a 12 inch, obviously. Um, and again, there's one for side A, one for side B. This is what actually goes into the press. Uh, you get about 150 tons of pressure coming up above it and below it, which actually, it, which actually heats up the vinyl and well makes the record. Ladies and gentlemen, do I have a treat for you. Straight from the famous Sun Records studio, we have production called A Heart and a Home. Done by Millican students, written by Brenna Fighter. Enjoy. 